Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. As always, if it's the first time watching our channel or you're a regular viewer, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So today, having a look at a nice little compact set of binoculars, and it's the Viking Badger 8x25, and available to purchase from us uh, on the link below if you'd like to support our channel, although I do know that stock often does run out with these because 25mm binoculars are getting very very popular lately and what you'll find is compared to maybe five years ago um, like for like a, a lot of modern 25 millimeter binoculars can now as good as or p perform better than 32 millimeter ones from years gone by the optics in budget sets are getting really good lately so these are in the just under the hundred pounds mark, similar price to the Vike, the uh, sorry, the Hawk Nature Trex, and with similar specification. M maybe one day I'll do a comparison. So at this price, you're not going to get magnesium alloy. So it's a polycarbonate body, and it does have, you know, a plastic feel to the focus, or almost a generic feeling. But you know, it's it's good for the job. So you got uh, multi-coated optics. Um, yeah, that's multi-coated optics, not fully multi-coated, but they are BAK4 prisms, not phase corrected. So when you take them out of the box, con considering the relatively low price, they do feel really nicely put together a set of binoculars. Uh, con and considering the light weight, yeah, they, they really do feel well put together. So let's just go through a little bit more of the specifications. Uh, you've got a fielded view, 6.8 degrees, and close focus around about 2 metres, and I just tested that, and that, that's about right. And weight is under, just under 300 grams at 298. The eye relief is quoted as 13 millimetres, and I, I tested them with my spectacles on. I know everybody's glasses are different, so by all means, you need to try them first yourself. And... Uh, with the eye kit twisted down, I could just about get the full field of view, but but only just. So it may be suitable for some spectacle wearers and other people not. So the eye cups twist out, and so as I do quite often, I'm going to do the push test because often I, I mention that the eye cups stay nicely in place once set. So let's do the push test without twisting them, and they go down a bit. Let's try that again. So yeah, so they, they do go down uh, even without twisting if you do put a lot of pressure on them. But, th but that's a very, very minor gripe. Mainly because I think that these cups don't quite come out far enough. They're just a couple of millimetres short. Which means for you to get the optimum view, you don't really have to push your eyes up against these if you're not wearing glasses. So th that is not a problem, believe me. And they, they come out far enough to protect uh, the the, um, the lenses from uh, eye, yeah you get, like your eyelashes touching the glass or some dust that's blowing about. So and quickly on about the handling, I've mentioned it before. The connections here to for the neck strap, I couldn't feel these at all when holding them. So that that's good. And uh, the your focus. It does move quite freely, so you can use the single-handed if, if you're out walking the dog. So the view through the eyepiece, at, at first, I thought, well, these are better than expected, because the the Badger, it is, it's not the the, the um, absolute beginner's range from Viking, but they're a mid to low price one, and I was quite pleased with the colours and contrast through this. Yeah, okay, there is... Uh, some chromatic aberration even in the center to smaller amounts and and also some uh, pin cushion distortion and uh, and thirdly um, th there is more of a sweet spot in the middle um, and with a bit more fall off in quality towards the edges but again that that's that's being picky when you're considering how low the price is with these um, you know well under 100 pounds but if you if you are looking for less chromatic aberration with a 25 millimeter binoculars and better edge of field quality virtually no pin cushion distortion then you're looking at going to the viking venturas um, which 
uh, the other side of £100 so you do have that choice here if these do the job for under £100 and you look for these you know, no problem if you just want to go to that extra next level go for the Viking Venturas which will give you that crisper view with better edge to it edge to edge quality but that is by all means not locking these because in this price range they certainly do the job and do not disappoint so you get a nylon compact case here and as you can see it's nylon but it doesn't like collapse under its own weight it is um, quite a well built one and as, as per many nylon uh, cases they do come with the loop there to put your belt through eye cups you get the all-in-one for the eye pieces and the drop down one is for the objective lenses which as you can see can be removed and you get a nice padded neck strap and also if buying as a gift they do come very well presented in, in, in this gift box so they are just 25 millimeters that they are probably not the set to go for if you like looking in low light conditions although I've just been testing them on a dull day and perfectly adequate but if you like going out at dusk and dawn you'll probably want something with a bit more aperture and I believe the badges do go up to 42 millimeters so all in all a nice what you call no nonsense set of binoculars no, no thrills about it but on the flip side in the price range that they give you everything that you need everything that you ask for so as always thank you very much for watching and please check out the link in the description below